Do you do you know what GR means from the Toyota Group? Well, if it was a uh, serial, it would be great. Yeah, it's not it. No, it's not it. Mars, you know? No, I'm, I'm trying to think. Um, no, I, I really don't. GR stands for Gazoo Racing. Oh, uh, with the Hello. Gazoo part of the Toyota, name. Toyota, yeah. With the Gazoo part of the name meaning garage. I didn't know that. It is yet another performance offshoot from Toyota, and it's even cooler than you might have imagined. The GR sub-brand began as a sort of skunk works project started by Akio Toyota before he became the company's current president. It eventually became the company's dedicated motorsports arm and has grown to include the development of performance streetcars for Toyota. The GR brand races in the World Endurance Championship, the World Rally Championship, among other series. Now, you're going to say, well, wait a minute. What about uh, TRD? Well, I got a feeling that TRD is going to be shuffled off a little bit. Uh, They're not going to promote that as much as the GR. And I think that that's a smart move. I never was a big fan of Kind of sunset it. Yeah. And I I bring all this up. a lot of it, though. And I bring all of this up because I had a chance to drive the 2024 Toyota GR Corolla. And when I was told that I was going to get a GR Corolla, I thought, oh, it's just a Corolla that's goosed up. No, (laughs) it's not. It is a hot hatch. Uh, It comes in three editions, trim levels, the Core, the Premium, and the Circuit Edition. The Circuit Edition doesn't have a back seat. It is a five-door uh, coupe. Hatch or coupe? Well, it's a coupe hatch kind of thing. It's a performance subcompact hot hatch. How's that? Okay. It seats five. It's kind of hard to describe. Think of it as a Volkswagen GTI. Okay. Uh, think With of a hatch. It, think of it as a... Uh, WRX from Subaru, okay. that kind of uh, thing. I don't ever recall Toyota coming up with something like this. Seats 5, it's all new last year. Small four-door aero rocket with uh, four wheels, basically. Mm. Uh, short nose and rear. Huge open mouth grille takes up three-quarters of the front fascia. The hatch looks like race business with three exhaust exits, not two, not four, but three. Wow. Uh, brake ducts on the front fenders. Uh, what I liked about it, the race-style black wheels. What could use improvement? The whole thing is every boy's boy racer's dream, and I actually love it. <laughs> um, interior highlights. Lots of hard plastic throughout the cabin. So, you know, then them dirty boys get in there with the greasy pants and the greasy hands. They can just wipe it right off. Mm -hmm. Comfortable, form-fitting, race-style cloth seating. Fold-down back seat. Uh, As I mentioned earlier, the Circuit Edition deletes the rear seat. Uh, Basic infotainment system without navigation. What? What? Because you've got your phone. Oh, yeah. And uh, then they're doing away with navigation systems that are built into cars. It's all going to depend on your phone and uh, your Android or your iPhone. Uh, or someone a- giving you Apple, directions. Apple CarPlay. <laughs> well, that's easy to do. Uh, cargo trunk room is tiny. What I liked about it, the easy shifting stick. Yes, it did have a six-speed manual yeah, transmission and the GR label on top of that. Yeah. What could use improvement? Nothing. Hmm. Don't mess with it. A 1.6-liter three-cylinder engine with 300 horsepower what? and 273 pound-feet of torque. As I mentioned, six-speed manual. Now, mileage? Mm, it's a race car. City's 21. Highways rated at 28 for a combined to 24. I got 23.5 over 424.7 miles. By the way, tested in the quarter mile, 13.1 seconds at 105 miles an hour. This thing will get it, buddy. Yeah, you're going to get a roll cage. (laughs) The best best time that I could get in the Corvette that has close to 400 horsepower was 13 seconds. I mean, it only beats it by 0.1 seconds. Wow. 
And if you and it, it depends on who's going <laughs> and who's driving, who's rolling off the light first, and as to who's going to get the yeah. yeah. It has to do with the three exhaust pipes. What could use improvement? Don't touch it. Uh, make upgraded race parts available at the parts counter. That's all I can say. Yeah. Ride and handling feels like a buck in Bronco. And I put on here, yes, with an exclamation point. <laughs> what could use improvement? More race stuff options. Oh. Base trim price, thirty-seven five ninety-five. dollars Price is tested, $40,159. The base model price is thirty-six five. So, the, obviously, the $1,500 bump is, uh, well, actually, it's uh, only a $1,000 bump is for delivery. Competitors, Honda Civic Type R, forty-four thousand seven hundred ninety-five dollars, three hundred fifteen horsepower. Hyundai Elantra N, thirty-three thousand seven hundred dollars with two hundred seventy-six horsepower. The VW Golf R, forty-five thousand six hundred sixty-five dollars with three hundred and fifteen horsepower. Get one today. Yeah, hot rod. Yep, that's my review of the twenty twenty-four Toyota GR. Corolla. Hey, if you'd like to get in touch with us, shoot us an email. The address is info at inwheeltime.com. We're back. 